Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a bit of a get ready with me while you guys ask me questions. I posted on my Instagram story for you to ask me anything. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do my makeup, do my hair, get dressed. You get to kind of, cause I get lots of questions about how I do my makeup. So we're gonna do it together. And then I'm gonna curl my hair and then I'm gonna answer you guys' questions and then it's gonna be a grand time. Okay, ready? Um, buckle up, get comfy, make a snack if you want, and let's do the damn thing. Okay, let's go. Okay, so all I've done so far is wash my face and when I've only washed my face and there's nothing on it, it is so dry. So I'm gonna fix that. I use like 10,000 products to prep my skin for makeup. So I'm gonna like speed through that really quick but I'm gonna tell you everything that I'm using. So, of course, if you know me, you know I'm using this. Literally, Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. So good, better than any chapstick you'll ever use. It is just so moisturizing and it lasts a really long time. So I went to Sephora recently because I just want my makeup to look better and she said that it all comes down to skincare and how you prep your skin. So I've been doing something different and it seems to be working really well. Um, so she gave me this collagen peptide serum and it's so good, it's really cheap, it's like $7. You just put a couple drops of that in your hand. She said it helps bring the moisture right to the surface of your skin, so it's really hydrating. And then when you put your moisturizer on, it really just like locks everything in. So for someone with dry skin, this has been great. Laneige Cream Moisturizer, not the eye cream. And then for my skin to actually prep my face for makeup, I use the Maybelline Master Prime that has SPF 30 in it because I don't wear sunscreen otherwise. And then I also use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I just, I like using both of them together. I find my makeup's going on a lot smoother and it just looks good, okay? So I'm gonna use these, okay? Okay, now a little bit of this. And this stuff gets really tacky. Like you can really feel how it would, like it makes your face kind of, not sticky, but just, you can tell, I mean, it's called Hydro Grip. So that it does, that it does. And now let's get Patty up here so she can start asking me some questions. I need to go with the speedy blender. Look at how big it is. It's crazy, it's like the size of my head. Not really, but you know what I mean. It's Sonia Kashuk from Target, five bucks. Okay, Patty's in the room. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. Getting started with makeup, I use this for my foundation. I've always used it, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Pro Glow, and I mix these two colors because it just, I feel like it looks the best on me. And I just, I've tried so many other things and this is all I like, so yeah. Okay. I'm ready now. Top five items, products, you can't live without. Yeah, so my toothbrush and toothpaste. Toothbrush and toothpaste, this. Also this. Did I mention this? Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. My phone, face moisturizer, and mascara. That, if, as long as I have those things, I'm all set, bro. What is your next trip? Um. In September, I went to Playlist Live, then I went to home, and then I went to New York Fashion Week. I'll probably, my next trip may be flying to Philadelphia to see Bay. I wanna go back to New York because I wanna see the Rockettes. I wanna be a Rockette. One day, one day, guys, stay tuned. For concealer, it's Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. Yeah, and I just put it under my eyes, all the high points, bring it up this way. Okay, mom. Okay, this person said, hi, lovely. What is your go-to perfume? This Glossier perfume smells delicious. You probably, oh, I'm gonna put some on right now. This, it's so good. You've probably seen it on like TikTok and stuff. It's just delicious. 
So usually I let my concealer dry so it gets tacky and I like the way that it blends better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows now. I use the Maybelline Express Brow little pencil thing. And then I, I really have no method of madness. I just go to town. Okay, where do you get your jokes of the day? I make them all up. <laughs> JK, that was the joke of the day. But to be honest, I just kind of like look them up online sometimes. Or if I see like a video of someone who used one, I'm like, oh, that's good. And I'll borrow that one. Or I also have a joke book. I have a big old joke book that has a lot of good jokes that I'll use sometimes. Comment down below if you miss joke of the day. This part's kind of fun. You can watch me carve out my eyebrows. Makes me feel like an artist. Okay, now I gotta blend it out. When are you getting a pet? <sighs> well, uh, you know, <sighs> guys, if you have me on Snapchat, you know how bad I want a dog. I have a dog here um, whom I love, but she's really old and she just stays here. I want one in LA. I want a little toy poodle. So bad, it's not even funny. They're so cute and fluffy and I want to just dress it in holiday sweaters and and just take it with me everywhere and I want it so bad. But I almost got one like a month or two ago, but then it like wasn't good timing because I was traveling a lot. So now, now I'm, I may get one soon, stay tuned. This stuff in the eyebrows, Sigma Beauty Tint and Tame. Contour, I use the Essence Contouring Palette. And I just put it right here, and up here, and down here. Okay! Okay, Mom! Okay, do you have any anxiety? Freaking yes. Who doesn't? I used to not be a really anxious person, but as you get older and life really comes for you, that stuff is real. Um, how do I deal with it, you ask? I pray about it and I really, I, I want a therapist. I keep trying to get one, but I just get distracted. So highly recommend one of those. Um, I just like listen to my body and I don't try to overdo it because I'm anxious and then I try to like do work. I worry a lot. Like my anxieties are just me just like being paranoid about literally everything like I just overthink everything so yeah I just journal about it and then take a bath and then try again the next day because what can you do now I'm going over that contour with this Sigma bronzer and just a fluffier brush because I like a really bronze face so I just really go to town did you like Gatlinburg? OMG yes Gatlinburg is so fun. Um, I don't know if you saw recently, my family and I took a family vacation to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We love it there. We've been going there since I was so young. I can't even remember, but we always go and we stay in a cabin. Uh, yeah, Gatlinburg so fun, 10 out of 10. The drive up the mountain into the cabin is like scary, but you get used to it. It looks weird and not blended right now, but guys, trust the process. Like, I promise you, it'll all blend together. Okay, blush, favorite part of makeup routine. This is Sigma. Sent me a lot of stuff, so they really hooked me up, and it all works really well. So, yeah. Okay, mom, next question. When did you start dancing? I started when I was 15, and I was doing musical theater. In high school, I auditioned for a show, and I had no idea what I was doing. And then I fell in love with it and then I kept dancing. Now, I did dance when I was like five for two seconds. My mom had a dance studio and I like barely remember it. And then I quit and just like stopped dancing until I was like 15. And then, 
yeah, I got to school, I got to college, and everyone had been dancing their whole lives and had been doing like competitive dancing, and I was like, bro, I don't know any of this, but it's okay. Trust your path, trust your progress, and everything will be okay. Um, for highlighter, I use the Anastasia Glow Palette, and I always use this one right here. It's so pretty. Someone else asked, do you miss dancing? Well, I still dance. I, there are dance studios around that I can still go to. It's not the same. I definitely miss school and college so much. I went to Oklahoma City University, um, was a dance performance major, third year, and then my life kind of like, um, and I was like, okay, um, yeah, this is happening. So I, I miss it a lot. It was definitely rigorous and it was so hard and I just loved it and it's crazy how life can just like change on you so quick because I was just for a long time like it was like okay I'm doing this then I'm going to New York and I'm gonna do this and this is and then I was like bro I freaking I miss school so much I literally keep seeing memories and I'm like I miss it but I'm also really grateful for like where I'm at now and like the path that I'm on now so I still get to like do a little bit of everything um, I still get to dance, nowhere near as much, but I do. I miss it. I miss it. <laughs> okay, for eyeshadow, I use the Maddie Ziegler Morphe Sean Jamal palette, which I think is such a cute name because it's a French dance term. Um, I'm not even going to try to talk you through this. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really bad at eyeshadow, and I just throw a bunch of colors on my eyelids. So, yeah, carrying on. Have you got a five-year plan? Huh. Man, you can't it's kinda hard to have a plan out here. Life just keeps changing. Um, right now what I would love, uh I keep forgetting that I've only been doing social media for one year. Like it's coming up to like the one year mark, which to be honest isn't that long a time. And I've come a long way in one year and I get really antsy and there's so much I want to be doing that I'm not. Um, such as like I wanna act, I wanna like be in movies, I want to do more with modeling and fashion weeks and stuff and just traveling and creating content so that's that's all stuff I want to do kind of soon but five years from now I hope I will have done all those things and can be in a place where I can maybe like start a bit of a family and and just like settle down a little and have a dog and just live life a little bit more be able to just travel a lot more, not necessarily for work. Um, I want a kid eventually, okay? Like, eventually, I think I do. But, I don't know, probably not five years from now. I don't know. Yeah. Five years from now, I want to, I hope I'm living in New York. Work, like, performing, honestly, somehow. I just feel like that's where I will circle back around to. Right now, it's fun. Um, and I'm where I need to be for this industry, but you gotta, you can do, I forget that you can do anything you put your mind to, so we'll see. God's plan, not mine. Do you meet your girlfriend? Um, yeah, so if you didn't know, I have a bae, um, which is really exciting. I was totally in my single era this year. And then <clears throat> someone decided to slide into my DMs. Actually, okay, wait. She, she slid into my DMs like, yeah, like a year ago. And we were always just like friendly. Like, I don't want to say I friends on her, but I kind of friends on her because I, it was just, just not at the time. Like, I, yeah. Um, anyway, so then fast forward to like the summer things started to get a little bit flirty and i was like hello okay um and then she came to hang out with us during new york fashion week and then now the rest is history and it just kind of happened and i'm really happy about it so yeah i always just put like a dark color on the outer corner it just makes it a bit smokier mascara L'Oreal Telescopic, so good. Curl.
That's literally one coat of mascara. Ah, I love it. I never really put it on my bottom lashes because I, I just like the way that it looks, okay? Okay, for a lip, I wipe them off. And then I put them right back on using this NARS lip liner. It's just like a taupe color. And then this Tower 28 lip gloss in pistachio. I'm a liar, I'm not using the Tower 28. I'm using my Laneige. Just right in the middle. Yeehaw. Here she is. I really don't even know what I'm doing. I just throw a bunch of stuff on my face, so. Yeah, now I gotta do the hair. So I used this. It's from Hot Tools. And I think it's an inch or an inch and a half. Then I put this in my hair. It's the Silk Blowout Quick Drying Thermal Spray. I think it's for blowouts low key, but I use it as heat protectant because I have um, extensions in my hair and I want to protect them and keep them in good shape. Hair is gonna be extra protected. Okay, now, now I'm gonna section off my hair. I'm just gonna take the top layer, which is like my hair, and set that up. Cute. I'll just curl this. Favorite sport to watch a play? Football? Like the football kind, not soccer football. Mm -mm. Football, football. I used to not like it that much, because I didn't really understand it and understand like how the game worked and I was just like this is boring why are they doing this just to get tackled down but they really like football so therefore I genuinely like have come to really like it and enjoy it and enjoy watching it and I just have to say one thing go birds how old is your dog she's an old girl when did we get are we sure I thought we got her in 2012 Okay guys, I think my dog is like 13 years old. She's old and she's had a lot of health problems but she is still kicking. She is still kicking and she is so cute and she sleeps a lot and she begs for our food and I love her. She's such a cute little, she looks like a little hedgehog. She just like wobbles. Where is one international place in the world you would spend a month in and why? Um, probably Paris. Or Italy or Greece. No, I think, I think it's gonna be like Greece. Yeah, cause I just, from the pictures I see, it's so bright and sunny and like watery so I could go to the beach and go to cute coffee shops. And the little like villages that people say at are so cute. Oh my god, I wanna go there so bad. Okay, yeah. Where comment down below where you wanna go to. Maybe we can go together. Mm -hmm. Bottom layer done. I'm gonna let that cool. I'm gonna do the top, which is just my short hair. Okay, what's your favorite season? See, that's tricky because usually my go-to answer is summer because I hate, 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 you know, the Grinch of Summer Um, I hate being cold. I hate it. It hurts me. It causes me pain. So usually I'd say summer, but I just love this time of year so much. The Thanksgiving, Christmas vibes, and now that I'm in LA, like, it's not very cold out there, so honestly, I think my favorite season might be winter and Christmas and fall time. What's my favorite food you ask? Um, Osables and sushi and steak and breakfast burritos. I just, I, I came up with that question. 
No one asked. Maybe they did and I didn't see, I don't know. My favorite artist right now is Noah Khan. If you know, you know, Stick Season. So good. And boom. Okay. Wait, was it? Yep. Okay. So now I need to brush this out because that's not cute. Makes all the difference. Okay, then I add dry shampoo. Okay, then I add dry shampoo. Whoa, it looks like my hair is short. Which I need more of. Um, I always add dry shampoo because my hair is too fine on its own. So, just gives it some zhuzh, you know? Well, usually I would like blow it out, but it kind of doesn't need it. Okay, hairspray. I have to use hairspray or else my hair will fall. Okay, change to a fit, BRB. Okay, wait, let me show you my fit. It's a little rompa. So cute and girly today. Earrings. Okay, what's your favorite thing about this season of your life you're in right now? I guess it's the unexpected because there's just so much new on the daily. So it's really cool to see like what's gonna be next. And last but not least, what's your favorite part about being home? Um, yeah, I love coming home. I like, we just all, so I put up the Christmas tree. I do all by myself. And then we turn the fireplace on and we get to watch like Hallmark Christmas movies while I drink hot chocolate and I just love being home. My bed is so comfortable and I like my dog and there's lots of good places we go out to eat around here which is really fun. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for asking me so many good questions.